the Komodo dragon. The largest and heaviest lizard in the world. These carnivorous reptiles are a type of varanid or monitor lizard. But those on Komodo Island are giants. Nearly five times bigger than other monitor lizards. To show why they've become supersized, I want to get close to one of these big beasts. But these are powerful predators. stick should stop them getting too close. When you're sat face to face with the top predator of these islands, something really comes over you. Right now my skin is alive with goosebumps. This thing has a deadly bite, 60 serrated teeth that can really do some serious damage. And if you don't die from the initial bite, then <laughs> its venom will do the rest because it's been recently found that that venom is an anticoagulant, so it stops its intended victim from being able to heal. And if you can't sense it right now, the entire crew are on tenter hooks. <laughs> The next morning, the feast begins. The biggest individuals are first in. Komodo dragons can eat 80% of their body weight in one go. The smaller juvenile is back. But big dragons are cannibalistic. So he's not taking any chances. It's left to the largest lizard to finish up. An entire leg Hoof and all, swallowed in one go.
This primal scene shows why these lizards became so massive. With an abundance of huge prey on these islands and no competition from other predators, they were able to evolve into giants. Komodo dragons are the largest lizards on the planet. Komodo dragons are a species that people need to be very, very careful around. In the world, in Indonesia, there are cases where dragons attack people regularly. They tear through flesh without even thinking about it. They're dangerous things to work around, so, yeah, they can be a bit scary. But not all the dragons are quite so fearsome. Hey, Mezcal. How are you today? This is Mezcal a female dragon who's been suffering from severe anxiety. I've never seen a dragon like Mezcal. Nervous, a little bit shy. She climbed in my pocket once. She was like four foot long, but she was trying to hide in my pocket. So weird. Go on, Mezcal. Six-year-old Mezcal has never summoned up the courage to go outside and keepers are becoming increasingly concerned about her state of mind. She's a very fearful dragon. Sometimes she'd spend three, four, five days inside a log and not come out. It was very worrying. If she can find her spirit and get sort of a bit braver, I think she'll quite quickly become a bigger and stronger and more normal dragon, hopefully. That's it, in you go. In the past, when we've tried to move Mezcal outside, she managed to sort of, like, double back on us. She just didn't really want to go out. Oh, hello, Mezcal. You snuck all the way back here, did you? Mezcal has been this way since she arrived from a zoo in Los Angeles four years ago. I think life in L.A. for Mezcal must have been quite laid back. She gets to sit out in the natural sunlight and catch rays all day long. And sadly, Chester's not got sunlight, so it could have been a bit of shock when she first arrived. I normally bring her a treat in the evenings, but I'm going to take her one now. Actually, I might save her one for later. No, nope, she definitely doesn't fancy the guinea pig. Let's try the gerbil. Gerbil? I do wonder whether the lifestyle in America meant that she was like, she'd been living on a diet of burgers or something, and when we started offering her rats, she was really disappointed. Oh dear, it's just too much effort. The keepers have come up with a plan to help Mezcal tackle her issues. They're going to try and tempt her outside for the first time with a specially prepared chicken. We've decided to put the carcass outside, which is something we don't normally do, because we normally feed them indoors. And uh, we're going to see what develops from there. We've put quite a lot of thought into this process and a bit of planning, and if it doesn't work, I'm not sure where we'd go next. I felt elated. Absolutely incredible. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> I just could not believe she did it, and I, she, I think she took us all by surprise. She went straight out, and she literally launched herself on that carcass, and she just started to tear it apart. Yeah, oh, the head's good. off. Yeah, it worked. It worked really well, better than I could ever really have expected. It's literally like it was a different dragon. To see her outside and in the exhibit uh, with public around viewing her was amazing. She's definitely on the way to being a proper dragon. 